James A. Martin III, also known as Jim. My rank was lieutenant. I was enrolled in the Naval Reserve Officers Training Program at uh, Penn State College, which I attended for uh, four years. Uh, the three summers during the college time were spent on uh, cruises. Two of them were aboard ship. One of them was Pensacola and uh, Little Creek, Virginia, which exposed me to the various activities of the, uh, of the Navy. Uh, the, the first ship was a heavy cruiser called the St. Paul, and uh, it was basically a, a, tr a classroom. Uh, we did minuscule things. We even uh, scrubbed the decks, which were teak decks, you know. They were teaching us lessons, I think. Uh, the second one was on the uh, Rochester, which was a light uh, cruiser. And uh, we were more concerned with navigation at that time using various tools. But uh, we were not at all familiar with things, so that we had no real responsibilities as midshipmen. And then the, uh, the midtime cruise, the, uh, the one at Little Creek, Virginia, uh, they were exposing us to uh, amphibious landings. And there we did some interesting things. They got us on a uh, transport, put the ropes over the side, we climbed down the side into the landing craft, raced into the beach, things like that. Uh, the visit to Pensacola was to see if we were interested in being flyers. They, uh, they gave some pretty serious physicals to us down there for that reason. Uh, having a fear of height, I was not about to become a flyer. <laughs> I think that covered the cruises. So that was the NROTC. It was a competitive program you got into. And uh, they had a big setup of native people that trained you. Uh, officers, and then uh, uh, Marine sergeants that taught you how to use a 45 and things like that and behavior so But uh, the training was at the university, the summer cruises, and that was it. Well, one basic thing they teach you is you don't discuss women, politics, and I've forgotten the third one, because it, that's where the arguments come from and, and things like that. But uh, we were given some treatment on uh, uh, address people by their names. You know, be formal with them. Uh, that's, that was about it. We did not get the good training that the people got at Naval Academy. I always figured I knew more about the engineering department than they learned at the Naval Academy. But they were taught more lessons and more depth than we had about dealing with men. What you do when you go to Penn State or any other college that has NROTC, you take your major. Mine was chemistry. Uh, and then you take the, the Navy courses, and you're taking one every semester. There are three art courses. They're pretty strong courses. Uh, but my chemistry had nothing to do with uh, my Navy work. It was originally uh, two years active duty and uh, six years reserve duty. Korea broke out during that period of time, and they made us go three years active duty and uh, five years uh, reserve duty. And then I did the reserve duty. I stayed in for three years, and then I did the reserve duty. And then in, uh, in January or in uh, June of 1953, I was commissioned as an ensign and assigned the USS Norris, which was then in the dry dock in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And since I lived in Pennsylvania, it was an easy trip down there. But I uh, was on board the very next day after graduation. And then I served on Norris for three years. Uh, I was first in uh, damage control officer, and then I was the chief engineer. 